Every eight weeks, the 10-member Monetary Policy Committee is faced with three choices, to tighten, hold, or loosen in determining an appropriate stance for policy in the short to medium term. Again, it has unanimously chosen to hold. The choice, therefore, was between loosening the stance of policy to ease credit further or tighten to moderate price development or maintain a hold stance in order to allow previous policy measures to continue to permeate the economy while observing global and domestic developments. Based on the above considerations, the MPC made the decision to hold all policy parameters constant. As of April of 2021, the country's inflation rate eased by 18.12%, while its GDP increased by 0.51%, driven mostly by agriculture and industry. According to the CBN governor, the, the liquidity mop-up is yielding results. The twin problems confronting the Nigerian economy and that must be addressed relates to stagflation caused by rising inflation with output, in this case GDP, contracting at the same time. The CBN is maintaining its ban on cryptocurrency transactions in Nigerian banks and despite calls from governors seeking further deferment on payment of bailout loans, the CBN governor stands his ground. Those who invented crypto said it is encrypted. When they say it is encrypted, it means that whatever is happening between me and you is only known to the two of us. And you know what? In case I defraud you, because it's encrypted, you can't even disclose my name. You can't even get your money back. That is not what a responsible central bank will support. On this issue of state government, they're going to pay their loans. Banks have written to finance and they have copied me that they want their money. If it was a bilateral loan agreement, in fact, there's privacy of contract here. I'm not part of it, so they should pay their loans. That will come to the end of this uh, presentation. The MPC is also asking that the federal government tackle insecurity immediately, stating its adverse effects on the war against inflation in the country. The MPC has also asked that the federal government ensure that 70% of the Nigerian population are vaccinated against COVID-19 if the country is to make any form of economic recovery. Kayla Megwa, Channel Television News.